I'm currently cooking mac and cheese bites because I'm really hungry. I really can be bothered to cook, so just bunged it in the oven. Today, we're here to talk about YouTube analytics, not how hungry I actually am and what I'm cooking. So let me pop this down. So I know that most of you guys probably don't like the new YouTube, YouTube Studio Beta version. However, there is a tool in there currently that can help us grow as small YouTubers. Stay tuned. <laughs> Right, okay guys, so the new studio uh, on YouTube, uh, do you know what it is? Most of us don't like change. Let's be honest, most of us don't like change. So when we see a new tool that's controlling our analytics, the views, the subscribers we're getting, we're just like, please, just take back the old version, just stick it there. But sometimes change is good. And this change is really, really good. And I'm gonna tell you why. So we're gonna jump into a screen recording so you guys can see why this is a huge benefit to me, to you guys who are smaller YouTubers, to even bigger YouTubers out there, and why you should be using the new analytics tool. Let's, let it's my mac and cheese bites for you. Okay guys, so I'm currently in the new dashboard for YouTube Studio Beta version. Um, you can see here that it shares the latest news uh, for creators. Uh, we've got an idea on the growth over the last 28 days, um, watch time, views and your top videos, which is really cool to see as well. So. One of the things I've really wanted to see for a very long time as a YouTuber is how many subscribers I am getting from certain videos. And there's a reason for that and I'll show you why this is important to understand to help you guys grow in this video and other videos that you guys are gonna be making. So if I go into videos, we'll load that up, and I'm just gonna select one um, probably uh, this one, how to get more Instagram story views in 2019. So let's click on that. So it's gonna take you to the main part, which is where you enter your title, your description, you'll upload your thumbnail, and then you'll put your tags in for that video as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to analytics. Click on there. And you can see from this video, that I have gained 38 subscribers. So you can see that it just continues to grow up. Now if I go further below, you can see here, this is a real time update um, of views that are coming through. Um, so this is within the last 48 hours and where most of them are coming from. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to a video that's probably not done so well, which is trying coffee for the first time. So this is when I wanted to really make a vlog and get some fun footage um, and try it out and see what happens. So if I go into analytics for this one, you can see that this hasn't gained any subscribers, no interest in people um, coming back to watch these types of videos. So I'm gonna go back to one more video, which is my top trending video. And this is how to get Twitter followers fast, which is nearly up to uh, 18,000 views. So if I click here, we'll go back into analytics and you can see here that this video has gained me 77 subscribers, which is really, really good. So over time, you can see here, if we hover, hover about here, We've got eight subscribers on the 13th. Uh, on the 22nd, we had 31. And then on 
2nd of March 42 and again we can scroll down to see the latest activity so real time updates of the views that are coming in now what you'll see differently is that this one here is from uh, 7 minutes 22 but the retention is quite small on it so 2 minutes 9 is the average view you can see that, that it spikes up so what's happening I can imagine is that people are just trying to find out what they need to do to get them Twitter followers rather than watching the full video. Now the reason why this is really important for me to understand and it should be for you guys is that if we go back um, to this one here, trying coffee for the first time is a totally different video to most of the other videos that I do. So it means that if I wanna earn subscribers, I want people to come back to my channel, that I'm probably best off staying away from this kind of content until a later time, until I've grown a bit more, because people had no interest in this. Where if I start to share more information, maybe around Twitter, how to grow your followers on Twitter, that that is gonna help me grow and get more subscribers. So it's really important for you guys to understand your audience, where they're coming from, what videos they're subscribing to, so you can produce content based on that last video. So I'm probably now gonna go away and find out other hacks that I can do around Twitter and share the same information to help my channel grow and make sure it's valuable content for them, that audience, the fans that are watching my videos. So I hope this video has helped you guys. Uh, I think my mac and cheese bites might be done now, so I shall see you guys next Monday. <laughs>